Mabuhay, I'm Francois Noel Amaya from the Philippines and this is actually my 23rd year of teaching, especially biology. Uh, I've been a former teacher in the Philippines for 19 years. I taught biology and all-girls school. I also taught uh, environmental science, disaster readiness and risk reduction, and some other sciences. So uh, basically, I'm kind of trained uh, with IB. That's why I also had my first two years of experience in teaching IB in Assumption College in the Philippines. I actually hold a bachelor's degree in biology and uh, took some units for my master's in teaching biology in De La Salle University in the Philippines. And I finished my master's of educational leadership in Assumption College and currently I'm taking my PhD in educational uh, supervision and leadership as well in Adamson University. So uh, I've been through a lot of uh, uh, workshops, uh, trainings in IB, particularly in biology and in creativity, activity and service, which is CAS. And I've attended several uh, certification meetings, seminar workshops with regards to teaching strategies such as brain-based learning, differentiated instruction, uh, project-based learning, and a lot of these things like uh, understanding by design. Actually, my teaching approach is mostly focused on student center activities. Uh, in the back of my head, I always think that every time I enter the classroom, all my students are unique. With that, mind in, with that thing in mind, it is understood that each brain inside the classroom is unique from each other. That's why I tailor fit the instruction, I am flexible to the needs of my students at the same time uh, the address no? the important learning needs of my students. In general, I really help my struggling students by differentiating my instruction. At the same time, I implement a strategy known, uh, known as a gradual release of responsibility. When say GRR, this is a, a level of instruction where you help your students from time to time in sequence manner. At the same time, we tailor fit the formative assessments and monitor and give feedback as well so that our students will grow and get better uh, each time they take their summative assessments. In terms of age groups, I've handled like uh, younger students in the middle school and but most of the time I handle the high school students, particularly uh, grade 11 to 12 students. Uh, two years ago, uh, I've been mostly specialized handling uh, IB students in the Philippines. I do believe that collaboration is very important. That's why uh, I really enjoyed working with uh, several people, teachers, staff, parents as well, because uh, it gives you a lot of perspective, a lot of uh, learning, innovations, and collaboration will bring you places such as Oxbridge. Oxbridge provides a good venue and environment for collaboration. I use a lot of modern technology, especially in science, particularly in experimentations. We do use a lot of sensors. I use a lot of uh, online applications in order to help students improve their learning in science, particularly in biology. In terms of classroom management, usually, uh, first of all, in order for it to be more effective, you have to let students understand that you're all coming from care, compassion, and love. And most of all, the most important thing is empathy. 